I'm Anne Marie Barton. Join me as I help homeowners reimagine their spaces. Discovering an atmosphere of beauty, peace, and tranquility from simple changes to sweeping transformations. I'll be sharing my process, tips, and of course, my vision. With the help of 3D renderings, we'll reveal exactly what's possible, creating an environment of beauty where form and function matter. This is The Vision Maker. Hi, I'm Ruby, and I'm here in Pasadena, California. So right now, our kitchen, um, our main focus right now is we would love to expand the window to just take advantage of the views. As far as aesthetic-wise, I feel like it's too white and stark. I would love to have a little more warmth and color, um, a little more texture. As far as kitchen space, I feel like it's not functional. What excites me about working with Anne Marie, I've been following her um, for a couple years now on Instagram. Hopefully she can give me some insight in what to make my house a little more cozier and warmer. Wow. Hey, this is a nice neighborhood. This is established. We have trees. I think we're gonna have views. And this is the house right here. Ruby is waiting for me to ring that doorbell. I'm sure it's been here a long time, but I hear they've only lived there for maybe a year or two. We'll probably find the perfect spot that we want to redo, but I'm gonna walk the whole house and see what else needs to be done. Let's go. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Oh. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Oh my gosh, I like this house already. So where are we? So over wow. here is our kitchen. Obviously, okay. our first thing that we see here are the views. Well, it's all about the views, yes. clearly. But I feel like this thing I'm is not even looking at this. Obstructing This is it. like a knife it in is. the room. <laughs> and I wish there was something that we can incorporate where they have vents that oh, just drip gosh. from the ceiling. I have an idea. I'm, I'm going like to end that. up rendering this for you yes. so that we can see all the new parts and pieces that oh, I nice. recommend. But I already have an idea for this. Oh, nice. nice. So exciting. And it won't take away from the views. The views, yeah. Another thing you could do is kind of add a light over this yeah. space to sort of say, I am right here. And then thinking about this, this island countertop, this is where you could adjust. Yeah. You could put a little something different here to warm it up okay. and add more naturalness. Oh, nice. So yeah. it could pick up on that, right? When you come in through the front door, you look to the left and you see a little bit of um, wheel. Yeah. Because right now this is a quartz. It is. And it's just so white and like so monotone. A little sterile? Yeah, a little sterile like a hospital. Well, <laughs> we don't want that. No. This is our bigger issue. It is. And I hate saying that right now because it's probably a new fridge. It is. <laughs> I would, but. I would totally be open to getting rid of this and doing something yes. incorporated with, like, neutrals. Usually, we like to do a wood trim kit. Oh, on nice! These. So we don't, we sort of try to de-kitchen the kitchen. Yeah. Because you can't get anyone out of your kitchen. <laughs> so True. it's kind of like the new family room. True. No. That's, looking I'm around, we know this would need to be fixed. We probably don't love the way this tile no. stops and starts. Yeah. You kind of want to unify this whole the wall. Whole area. So that it just doesn't distract you from looking out the window. The window, exactly. You know? Oh my gosh. This neighborhood, it's fantastic. I know. We now, love this neighborhood. your shelves are really cool. I think I would have dropped them down a little, a little bit lower. lower. Okay. You know? Uh, but you have a lot of facility here. You actually could use these. I love using the things I put out. Yes. I just think kitchens should be something grab and service. go. Yes. And and you actually use the things. They're yeah. not props. Yeah, you know what I mean. Sure. So I think you could leave this countertop. But let's concentrate on your island. The island. Okay. How about your your hardware? The hardware. Yeah. I'm open to like letting this go. I feel yeah. like this is so outdated. Easy I love to fix everything that's like European style, it's just hidden. I'm just gonna dream okay. in this kitchen. I can see why you want it to be beautiful. Yeah. Because it really bleeds right into your great room. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. 
obviously, this is the heart of the home. Yes, it is. And you've really warmed it with this warmed fireplace. With this fireplace, I have a little candle going on, a yeah. little bit of texture on the wall. I love this. And kind of made everything just neutral, but at the same time, warm. I don't think there are any mistakes here. One thing that you did so well, most of the time people hang their art way too high. Yes. Look at you. This is perfect. Oh, nice. That's good to know. The thing you have to think about when you're hanging art is what's next to it, what's underneath it, and come a little bit closer to it and not be afraid. And then is, will you have an evening meal here? We have evening meal here. We like to entertain. The only thing, I just feel like white walls. I just feel like it's so bare and it's just not warm enough. Now, when you look from the kitchen toward this direction, you have an opportunity to sort of warm this a little bit more. Okay. I see we've got a bar. Yes, we do. dining room. So in order to set this room off just a little bit, we actually could take the same beam here painted, add it coming down this wall and on this side, and then we've got a way to break. Oh, nice. Okay. So, so it has its own little section. Yeah. It becomes sort of restaurant-ish okay. and bar-ish. Yeah. Looking at that kitchen, looking at those views, I want to sketch it a little okay. bit and show you what I'm talking about. Are you feeling like you're willing to go without a white kitchen? I am. I'm ready to let go of it. Yes. So we can earthify this we kitchen. We can earthify. Okay. Anne or we can style. A and B the kitchen. Yes, Anne Marie style. <laughs> well, we know we want to focus on that view. Yes. And, you know, one thing, I would do new windows. I I'm, hate to say I'm it. I'm open to I that. I don't want to cause trouble. <laughs> but because you have this view and you have these middles on all the windows, I think if you could just have straight glass there, that's a good start that's right there. That's a nice idea. We probably need to start with the hood. It's kind of sharp and also stainless steel, which just doesn't feel as warm. It doesn't. You know, and then you've got this countertop really icy. Yes. You know, very cold. And going with the white cabinets and the stainless steel um, cabinetry poles. Poles, yes. It's, it's an a eyesore. Little, it's just a little strong. It is. And harsh. Yeah. So let's warm it up. I'm going to render this for you. Okay. In the way you want it. But hearing that you want to concentrate on the view and warm up this kitchen already gets me thinking. Yeah, All sounds right. like a plan. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you so much. Thank I'm you. kind of excited about the vision I have for this space. I'm excited But I'm too. really happy about how you've done your house already. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate appreciate you. Thank you. That experience was amazing. I've been a fan of Anne Marie Barton for years now, so I'm looking forward to her vision, her style, her little warmth to bring to this little space of ours. First of all, walking into Ruby's house was like almost walking into my home. I felt that we were on the same wavelength when it comes to design and how we want our homes to feel. Now back in my studio, thinking about it and starting the design, I was really struck by wanting to give that space some more architecture as well as the views. So I went straight to the kitchen. Knowing that the views were so important to her, I thought the best idea was to get rid of the hood. You know I didn't like the hood anyway. So we'll opt for windows all the way across. The way we do that is by making the range top a downdraft, so you don't always have to have a hood element. The other thing that kitchen needed was to be warmed. We want to feel cozy in our kitchens. And in some cases, we need to de-kitchen our kitchens because it's connected to the great room, the bar, the dining room. It has to facilitate that same experience. So I chose a wood tone for all of the kitchen. Knowing that I had a lot of light, I could go with a little more depth on all of the wood and then bring back in the light when it comes to the countertop material, which this is actually a porcelain. This is a money savings idea that all of you can do instead of true slab material, and yet it looks fresh and real. In that bar area, I also wanted to add bronze. I guess because I'm living, I always love to see a little hint of this natural brassy bronze material. Also because it too 
is warm. So we put this right behind the knee space on the bar. You'll see that in the rendering. Now, the other thing you'll notice in my renderings is the light fixture. Please don't make me see three pendants over an island. I've seen that a lot. So instead, I wanted something that would glow. Can you imagine at night when this thing could twinkle and you just have that subtle light with the recessed cans turned down and then you focus on the view? That's the goal. The other thing that we needed so desperately in this space was really texture. And I love texture and I know Ruby was wanting that from me. So the first thing I did was go to the rug. So I love nutmeg colors, especially with Ruby's essence. So you can see, hello, this is texture and in a color I love. Mixing with that would be plaster on the walls. Instead of just paint, we would add this texture of warmth. You can see we would run this all throughout her kitchen, her great room, and into the dining room and the bar. This will unite it. Now, when it comes to the fabrics on the sofas, I went with everything delish. We have fur, we have linen. All of the colors are intended to feel dry and natural. And then we have this wonderful dry walnut. You'll see that on the lamp, the coffee table. What's lovely about walnut is its naturalness, but I don't want to enhance it. I love it dry. After putting all this together, I looked up in the ceiling and I thought, I think I need an architectural element. So I decided to add wood beams in that ceiling. And you'll see that those wood beams really added this connection to how the house was actually built. And it adds a little interest from space to space. Let's talk about the bar. Right now, that bar was kind of cluttered. Too many bottles, too many glasses, a lot to look at. So as you're looking in your houses also, declutter. I'm hoping after this is over, you're putting some things away. But that bar needed to bring in also the essence of these metals, these delicious colors, and simplicity. So I put all of the metal on the front of that bar, a mirror to reflect the outdoors, and then a simple shelf. In the end, the most important thing to do is look around your spaces, decide what you need to remove and what you need to celebrate because we cannot look at everything. Here we have a view and that's our focal point. In the great room, we have art above the sofa and a fireplace, plenty to look at. And then from the dining room, looking back toward the kitchen, things are clean, not too cluttery, organized, and we've set our eye at the view. So look around and simplify and make your kitchen and great room better.